The time to act is right now. Don't wait. Your freedom is at stake. Hey everyone, Kevin Walters here and you're watching Kevin's Auto Channel. And today I want to talk about how the government has gone too far. That's right. The government is now saying that modifying any uh, street car, truck, or motorcycle is now illegal. But there is a way that you can protect your right and to protect your freedom here in America. Down below in the description I have posted a link. Please click on that link and take action now. The RPM Act, the Recogni Recognition of Motorsports Act, designed to combat the EPA and the government from taking away your right and your freedom to modify your vehicle whether it be a car, a truck, or a motorcycle. The EPA is now saying that it is illegal to modify your car in any way. This means uh, tunes, exhaust, turbos, uh, superchargers, anything to change your vehicle and to change the emissions of that vehicle is now illegal. So this means that the government is infringing on your right to take your hard-earned money, to take the vehicle that you saved up for, and they are saying that you cannot modify it in any way to race it. So what does this mean? Look, slowly but surely, right now, the government is trying everything they can to take away your freedom. They are trying to suppress the American citizens, and I'll just go ahead and say it, they're suppressing the American citizens, but now they're protecting the illegals trying to enter this country. Now, this really hits a sore spot with me because all the soldiers who have gone overseas and fought for our freedom for the past decades and centuries, they are slowly but surely erasing all of that freedom that they fought for. They are slowly but surely suppressing us and telling us what we can and cannot do. In other words, they are taking away your freedom and your rights. It is now more important than ever before to fight back. And you can do this by clicking the link below, which will take you to the SEMA website which has a link to uh, contact your local congressman to tell them, hey, we do not want this suppression. We do not want the government to take away our rights and our freedoms and our privileges. We as American citizens want to fight back and let our voice be heard. Now, I don't care what side of the political line you should fall on, whether you be conservative, whether you be le uh, liberal, whether you be a Democrat or a Republican, it does not matter. What matters is your freedom. What matters is your rights. What matters are those soldiers who fought for those rights and those freedoms, and they come back to America, and basically the government is telling them, hey, you fought in vain. There was no reason for you to fight because we're going to take away that freedom anyway. That is not right. That is not American. Will you choose to fight back? Will you choose to let your voice be heard? It's not time to sleep. It's not time to lay down and let the government run over you. It's not time to let the EPA 
take over and tell you what you can and cannot do to your own vehicles, to your own property, to the things that you saved up for and worked hard for. It's not right. For those of you watching the channel, you're probably, all of you are into cars and trucks and motorcycles and you like to have fun on the weekends. Maybe take them to the track. Maybe work on them in your garage. The parts industry for modifying vehicles makes up over $2 billion of the economy every year. All of that will be lost. All of those jobs will be lost if you do not act now. So please take the time, hit the link below, and let your voice be heard. Look, if you're into the automotive community, um, the last thing you want is to not be able to do what you want to your car. Um, I know, you know, the channels like Stang Mode and Xander 13 and all the ones who built their channel on Mustangs and, you know, those who built Camaros and Challengers and all that, you know, and take them out and take them to the drag strip or to the track and drive them with what the EPA is wanting to do that is now considered a federal crime, not a state crime, not a local crime, but a federal crime. And you know, it's, it's, it's just so ridiculous, you know, what the, the government is trying to do to us now. You know, they're not going after these big corporations who are polluting and, you know, throwing all these chemicals and molecules into the air. They're going after you and me. They're going after the average consumer. They're going after the hard-working man who wants to just blow off some steam on the weekends and, and have fun and, you know, go to the track and race. And, and for a lot of us, cars and trucks and all are, are a relief, a release of all the tension and all of the built-up uh, stress that you had through the week working. And, you know, some of these guys are full-time YouTubers now. They... Their whole livelihood revolves around cars. It revolves around modifying them and making them faster and, and making content with them. All of that would go away. And, and, and you know, it's, it's sad and it, it makes me angry because that's our freedom. That's our, that's our right. We live in America. This is supposedly a, a free country or or it used to be a free country, it's not anymore. Because you have big government now stepping into our lives and telling us what they want to do. A few years back, they went after the diesel industry. And now you have, you know, Category 4 diesel engines now that are supposed to run cleaner and, and smoother and all. Well, you know, we still have diesel engines now and you can make big power with them. So that's still a good thing. But this is taking it a step farther. This is going too far. What the EPA is trying to do is saying, when you buy a car off of the lot and it's stock, you now have to keep it that way. You, you cannot modify anything that has to do with the drivetrain, the, the, that causes emissions and, and what the government doesn't understand is that when when you take and you, say you put an exhaust on, on your vehicle that's helping it that, that's causing it to run better it keeps the engine cooler it gets all that hot gas out faster and yes it makes it louder But I mean, I I just I just I don't get it. I mean, 
well, I do get it. I mean, it's it's the government trying to control our lives. I do get that part, but in my mind, I don't understand why you would want to go after the mainline American, the blue collar worker, the person with the YouTube full time YouTube channel just trying to make a living and having fun doing it. They're doing what they love. I would I would love to be a full time YouTuber. I would love to get to the to the point in my life to where I could be around cars all day and, and have fun with them and modify them and, and be able to go out on the track and race them and see what what, what what the work that I've done, how it could pay off. Um I mean that was that's a dream of mine. But the government is, is trying to, they're trying to suppress it. They're trying to squash that dream for people. What it boils down to, guys is, and gals, is we're slowly but surely losing our freedom. We're slowly and surely losing our rights. We're slowly and surely being suppressed by big government. So please, whether you're into cars and trucks or not, whether you're into motorcycles, I don't care. Don't let the government succeed in taking away our freedom, taking away our rights. Click the link down below. Go to the SEMA website and it will direct you. I filled it out and I've already gotten two uh, thank you letters from my local congressman, uh, William Timmons and Senator Lindsey Graham, they've already responded back to me and told me, hey, they've got my uh, support for the RPM Act and that they understand that I'm letting my voice be heard. And that reassures me that, hey, if if enough people do this, then the RPM Act will be passed and we won't lose this simple yet important right to have fun to have this release to to keep our rights so let your voice be heard if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below Throw a like on this video. It helps it out so that more people can see this, so that more people will be able to sign the petition to support the RPM Act. Thank you so much for watching. And I know this has been a bit of a rant video, but I'm sick and tired of seeing what is going on in our country today. I'm sick and tired of seeing our rights and our freedoms being slowly but surely taken away and and if you notice they're doing it really slowly so that it doesn't seem as a big shock to us so that we get used to the idea so that we we don't realize what is going on but it is here folks Now's the time to fight back. Now's the time to let your voice be heard. This is Kevin Walters with Kevin's Auto Channel. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you in the next video.